This is part of the special ubiquitous zone project under the supervision of the Japanese government. The objective is to strengthen the international competitiveness of Japan's information technology, and we have two specific targets. One is to promote a wider use of U-codes for identifying detailed locations, and the other is to develop active tags with display functions. Although this project is being conducted in Japan, we hope that it ultimately makes a contribution to the world's industries. I think if the project shows good results within three years, it'll bring significant changes in international logistics. Although the project started in Japan, it's already attracted great interest throughout the world, Asia, Europe, North America. This project is experimenting with ways to electronically verify finished vehicles and perform the task now done by manually resticking tickets. It is also developing technology to unify the management of these tasks. Currently, these tasks require great time and effort, as they must be carried out by hand. The important elements of the technology involved in this project are U-codes, the 433 MHz band, and active tags with display functions. A U-code is a unique identifier that can be assigned to any physical object or location. Thus, a U-code can be used as a detailed postal code. U-codes are used to turn addresses into information and to determine the location of vehicles. The 433 MHz band, a standard at logistics sites throughout the world, is used for the transmission and reception of data between active tags with display functions and management PCs. Further, the project uses active tags with display functions, the interoperability of which permits the rewriting of information for finished vehicles, and thus leads to more consistent management. This ambitious project aims to create international standards for the 433 MHz band use and active tags. Let's take a look at the current logistics flow for finished vehicles. At Mitsubishi Motors Mizushima Automotive Plant in Kurashiki, Okayama Prefecture, several thousand vehicles are produced in a single day for domestic and overseas markets. The vehicles are managed by paper tickets stuck to them. But these tickets often must be restuck, sometimes several hundred in a single day, because of such factors as changes in final destinations at the motor pools. This resticking takes an enormous amount of time and effort and can cause inconsistent information. Afterward, the finished vehicles are moved to the port and transported by ship to their destinations. Various tasks are carried out during operations at domestic and overseas terminals. Every loading and unloading requires a verification of vehicles and re-sticking of tickets. Under the new system flow envisioned by this project, Various changes are managed and carried out by the active tags and master PCs. These tasks occur throughout the transport process after the tags are attached at the Mizushima factory. Not only can large-scale improvements be made to operational efficiency, but there is no longer any need for large volumes of paper tickets. After amendments and updates are registered in the system, the system uses the 433 MHz band to send the information from an antenna in the motor pool to each finished vehicle, and rewriting is accomplished instantly. In addition, the location of each vehicle is transmitted from the active tag attached to each vehicle. 
This function enables detailed, real-time motor pool management. The automated control system not only helps improve operations, but is also good for the environment as it does away with paper slips. Security is also improved. From factory to destination, every step of vehicle transportation can be tracked without the need for manual labor. Operators will be freed from the current loading operation burden of having to check every single vehicle against long lists under the blazing summer sun or in icy rain. I think on-site operations will be greatly transformed. The employment of both active tags and a U-code can solve various problems that occur on site. In addition to speeding up operations and reducing operators' burdens, the new system can automate and improve the precision of all types of input-output procedures. At any time, operators can get the necessary information about individual finished vehicles, even in a vast motor pool. This three-year project started in September 2008 and is slated to finish by March 2011. During the initial year of the project, four steps were picked out and given focused technical testing. One. Attaching active tags. Two, identifying vehicle locations. Three, changing the information displayed on active tags. And four, managing transportation events such as gate out and loading. In the second year of the project, two types of active tags were used. These tags were attached onto vehicles when the vehicles had just come off the assembly line. Next, a gate antenna was installed at the motor pool. The project managed events when the vehicles were stored and later used GPS to determine their locations. Now, taking inventory of the vehicles. Their information can be verified on the system's screen. The project conducted an experiment that made an overall update by remote of the tag displays for cars taken out of the pool. At this point, we conducted an experiment to compare the time required to find a vehicle in the current paper tag system and in the new active tag system. The results showed that the new system uses about 50% less time to locate a specific vehicle. Event management also took place at the gate out time following the actual operation. We confirmed that accurate onloading information had been transmitted by the system. An experiment was also conducted in the second year at ICO in Belgium, the port where the vehicles were unloaded.
We measured vehicles' locations in the ICO motor pools in an experiment similar to the one conducted in Japan. As in Japan, we conducted an overall update by remote on the tag displays of vehicles taken out of the motor pool. After event management at unloading, the vehicles can be shipped for transport to their next destination. Well, the toestellen lijken wel een heel robuust iets. Uh, de bedoeling van deze toestellen is om in ieder geval de locatie van de wagen door te geven aan een centrale applicatie. Dus waar de wagen effectief op de terminal bevindt. Uh, twee is het ook de bedoeling om het omgekeerde, dat is te zeggen de instructies naar de chauffeur toe, door te sturen van ons centraal systeem naar het toestel zelf, zodat de chauffeur op zich weet in wel, in op welke locatie hij, het, hij de wagen zal moeten plaatsen. Dat geeft in ieder geval een hoog rendement aan de productiviteit op de terminal, waardoor we inderdaad heel wat efficiënter kunnen werken. In the second year of the project, we had nothing but successes, thanks to the cooperation of everyone at Mitsubishi Motors and ICO. Now, in the third year, the final year of the project, we plan to develop a system so that vehicles and their location information, such as VIN codes or spatial codes, are linked together and shared between different countries. The global logistics field will see the emergence of many international participants such as land transporters, customs brokers, terminal operators and ocean air carriers. Accordingly, international interoperability is essential for the technology they use. We want to develop information sharing technology applicable throughout the logistics industry. From small localities to international transporters, we want to create a new era of logistics.